Hello! Welcome to the first session of Study Mode Episode 20! Yeah! We're at the 20 minute... 20 minute? 20 episode mark, which means that I've been in this world for 20 months. That's a long time. It's April 1, and it's 2.48pm. And yeah, I am starting a bit later today than usual, but that's because I had class to attend and a group meeting to have. So, what are we planning to do today? So we're on this dock right here because we're planning to fix this place. This giant torch spam place. So what I'm planning to do here is, as I mentioned last episode, is that I would want to clear this out and turn this into a kind of, um, how do I say this? Like a little paintball arena? Like a, like a PvP area, but not that, like, you know, not like legit PvP. More like, you know, those uh, target practice, uh, fun paintball-ish activities of like, you have obstacles to hide behind, and then you go to the other team, and you can hide behind other things, and then, you know, just have fun. But I'm planning to make this mushroom theme. The thing about this, you know, island over here is that it's a bit... Uh, too steep, I think, for a game like this because one side would inherently have this thing, you know, like the hill, and they'd have the advantage because they could, like, just peek over the edge and just go and, you know, shoot the people over there. So, the first thing I'm planning to do here, at least for this session, is clear this area out and maybe terraform it a little bit. And then, as we go through the sessions, we'll keep improving this area. If we finish it early, then we can work on something else. So, First thing, clear out all the trees. Be right back. The trees are now gone. Okay, so the plan is, if you look at this shape, so it goes from here, right? This goes like a little channel over here. I'm thinking of maybe expanding this side a little bit and this a little bit. And then I will flatten this area a little bit because, you know, going up this hill is a bit weird for something. And then it slopes down. So the weird thing about that is, if someone's there and someone's up there, it's gonna be really hard for them to fight. So I'm going to flatten out this area, maybe lift this area a little bit higher, and create like a little slope going up for both sides, or keep the entire thing flat. Hmm. I'm thinking of maybe keeping it flat. So the first thing, I mean, if I'm gonna make it, you know, terraform, or keep it flat. I need a flat surface to work with first. So, let me just flatten this area out and let's see where we get from there. Okay, I've worked on this a little bit. Uh, this is the rest of the island. This is like the latter part of the island. So you can see like how that just flattens out on the top. I'm thinking of maybe extending this part more across because having the little base for the other team this low would be a bit awkward. Yeah, so you could just, you know, go up there and just shoot the... You basically just camp the other team. So I'm wanting to kind of raise this a little bit and maybe lower this by another. Because I think it's still a bit high for what it is. Yeah, I think it'd be best if I lower it by one more block. So around here. And then have their base here. Like, there. Like, kind of connect that part and this part. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go fill this space up with some, you know, with some dirt, the stuff that I collected, and then raise that other part. I'll come back to you when I've made enough progress. So I've been working on this. So look at this. Instead of the water being like here, the water is now there. But to keep the underground stuff, I kept this into like a cave thing where the wa where the dirt is just floating above the water. It's not going to be really that scene, but I just thought it'd be nicer since it has some depth under there. It's like an underwater cave type of thing. And then if you go up here, so I left this as stone because it is going to be a like another platform up here, like a small one. And then I'm going to replace all the stone under it. I just kept this here as a placeholder. And then over here, you can see I did extend this all the way here. So I, I extended this area with the grass. Let me just kind of make that a better transition and then also kind of made this area bigger especially this part so you can see it's a it's a bit square but let me just fix this with some extra layers but yeah this is what i have so far 
the last thing I have to do is just really change this out and then I would be done. So yeah, let me just quickly change this out. Yeah, you know, it's getting kind of tiring to do all these zero forming uh, progress updates because there's not much stuff to update. But yeah, let me just like, we're over here. I think I still got to change the sand bar because it's kind of weird to have this little sand area when the water is right here. But I probably won't line this area with sand anymore. Just removing this and replacing it with grass. We're going to have one base over here. We're going to have one base over there. There, over there. And then this is gonna be full of mushrooms that people can hide behind. So we can actually bring the mushrooms from there and there to over here to make it a little bit more cohesive of a plan because right now there's literally no mushrooms anywhere. It just looks like a regular summer camp. So as going by last episode's like little mini story is that this was a normal like campsite until it started to go under and then the little gimmick they thought is like let's make it mushroom themed. So it's like normal camp mixed with random sprouting themed mushrooms everywhere. But that would be it for there. That would be it for this session of study mode. It's only two, not two, three, forty-seven p.m. Yeah, I'm really tired today, and people are already calling me as you can hear my messenger ping. So that would be it. See you next session, which is happening in a few days. Bye. Hello, welcome to session two of study mode. It is April eighth at twelve forty-one p.m. You might have heard my messenger. Uh, yeah. So yeah, that is the date today and the time. Why are we here? Because that's the thing we're working on. And we're probably working on this thing behind me first. Okay, so uh, you already saw me build this little island a few seconds ago. Uh, and now we're actually going to fill it with something. And if you look here on the sign, what does it say? It says paintball arena. This is supposed to just be a normal paintball arena, but I was like, well, everything's mushroom themed. Let's make it mushroom themed. So we're making it mushroom themed. So what we're planning to work on today is what's in here, what's over there, lag, and what's over there. The thing about it is I don't know. Uh, okay, wait. I can't believe my messenger's acting up. But basically, I don't know if I'm going to finish all of these by the end of the session because I do have something important to do during whatever whatever i think i was like i was really confused i was like doing during whatever but i have something to do at do i have something to do at 6 p.m and i'll talk about it more later on but i have to just do what i can in the time that i have so what's in here so we have a bunch of mushroom stems of course we're gonna build mushrooms we have some end stone we have some brown mushroom blocks and some red terracotta what we're going to do is we're going to build a giant mushroom right here in the middle. So, let's already hop into a time lapse. Yep, this early we're gonna hop into a time lapse, build a giant mushroom, and then I'll talk to you why I'm a bit pressed for time right now. Hi, welcome to Time Lapse Talk Time, the time in the time lapse where I talk. So, why am I pressed for time? It's because I have a debate today at 6. Not today as in the time I'm recording this, but the time I'm recording the time lapse, not the time I'm recording the VO. I'm not really sure if you can understand that. Uh, but specifically, it's a graded debate. So, it's a graded debate means, it means that it's a requirement for the debate org I'm trying to join. It's just like a. Think about it as like you have quizzes, but you have like exams. So, this is like an exam, but for debate. So I'm already done with it by the time I'm recording this talk time and the motion was this house as a developing country would only pursue international investment agreements with that employ state state arbitrations rather than investor state arbitrations. Okay, seems really complicated and it, it is. But basically, state state arbitrations that means that like if a company has a problem with their trade deals with another government, they have to ask their government to like kind of file the lawsuit for them and but if you have like investor state arbitration that means like the company can directly sue the country if their rules were like unfair so that means we were the first group to speak and it's terrifying which means we were for state state arbitrations and i don't know it was just like a 
I didn't really have a lot of practice at this point, so we did get a third at this round. And yeah, it was pretty crazy since like, guys, how do I explain this actually? Our kind of argument for it was that we were going to protect the developing country and like make sure that they're okay and make sure that their resources are protected and that if you're the developing country, you'd want to uh, basically keep your assets safe. And since this is like an actor motion, an actor motion basically means that you as that actor, as that entity is going to make the thing so you kind of want to do what's best for you and what's in your best interest and that's like a really big thing for actor motions the thing with us is we kind of forgot the buy-in so like what we're trying to discuss is like uh it's going to be a serious more serious thing because countries are known to like re- like talk to each other all the time and they have people who can like kind of arbitrate between them and that they already know how to deal with others and they won't uh, abuse their power because they want to keep relations with this other country. So it's it's that basically. But afterwards, we like kind of figured out like, oh no, we missed a crucial thing, which is why would the countries actually go through this, and why would they actually you know push through and want to deal with this developing country? And yeah, I'm not really sure if you guys like the the debate talk over on Talk Time, but yeah, let's go back to the video. And the giant mushroom is done. Okay, the reason why we have this giant mushroom is to give us a kind of general idea of what the surroundings are going to look like. We're going to have this as like a a base or like a reference point for all of the things we're going to place. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the two bases over here. So the one mushroom over here and one mushroom over there. I already have the schematics for it. It's already going to be loaded. So I'll show you. Actually, not. Nah, I'm not gonna show you what they look like because it's gonna be really quick because it's already like 3.12 and I need to get to the other thing that I need to do. So, let's just cut into the part where it's already done. And the bases are done! Here is one of them. And there's the other one. So yeah, we have red and we have orange or like purpley red and then we have orange. So, this... Basically, they both look exactly the same. You go inside, there's places to set your spawn. Upstairs, there's also places to set your spawn. And then chests for your items or something if you want to actually play. And then, the reason why I wanted this giant mushroom is so that you can't really just, you know, shoot each other from the bases. And then we're gonna have a bunch more around here, so this is already, uh, you know, you can technically play, but it's not gonna be that fun. But if you look over here, whoa, I launched off something. That was pretty cool though. This is like the orange slash brown type of place. There you go, so brown beds. And then that's basically it. So it's already 4 p.m., exactly 4 p.m. And yeah, this is all I could do for today because I'm prepping for a debate at 6. So that will be it for session 2 of study mode for today. Uh, I'm going to be recording in a few days again. Uh, this won't really make a difference for you guys, but it will make a difference to me. So I'll see you in the next session and I'll continue building mushrooms around this place. Bye! Hello, welcome to the last session of study mode. It's April 10th at 2.01 p.m. So, you might be wondering why there's so many shulker boxes around. Well, it's because we're going to be building more mushrooms. So, the shulker boxes are about like where we're going to place them. So, there's one here, there's going to be one there, there's going to be one there, one here. And then, oh, I forgot to put down my chest. There you go. And then another one here and another one there so these are going to be like the big giant like big giant uh the medium sized mushrooms because this is oh, there go sounds okay so this is a you know my my giant mushroom that i built last session which was only a few days ago for me and a few seconds ago for you guys but we're going to be starting with these so the reason why we have mushrooms is so that if you're playing like, you know, like an arrow game or like a crossbow game, you can like hide behind the mushrooms, you can hide behind the different obstacles, and then 
afterwards, if we do have the time, we're going to make the path and the smaller mushrooms that litter around the place. So I'm thinking of actually changing some of the patches to mycelium or not because I feel like changing this entire island to mycelium would just kind of make it awkward. And you know, I already made the grass grow over here, but let's see what we'll do. So this is going to be mainly progress updates. We're going to be building one mushroom at a time and then we'll see where we go because right over here, if we go like this, if we push the M button and if it works, I don't think it works, but basically I have schematics of each mushroom and I'm just going to build them based on the schematic. So let's start on this one. We got our first mushroom in now. Look at it. It's pretty cool. I wanted to give it enough space between the door and this mushroom, but you know how I said last session that I wanted this giant mushroom to block the spawn camp basically of that base and this base so this is also serving the same purpose so when you exit your thing even if there are people there you still have like some sort of protection so you don't get you know camped by the opponent so that's going to be our first mushroom which is like tabory purpley type of thing which matches well with the purple of this next we're going to work on this one which is another like magenta e i think no this isn't the double mushroom but we're going to have another one here so you also have some protection coming in from this side so let's work on that and we're back with two more mushrooms so one over here one over there so this one is a bit like wizard hat e and it's like side tilting and then this other one is actually kind of i'd say droopy and kind of drippy this is what it looks like. I kind of wanted it to overhang this way since it kind of goes over this area and I'm planning to have a probably a bridge going from there to over here. Just like a little arc bridge so the boats can still to kind of drive off into the rest of the stuff and then you can like spectate from the boats because there's another like body of water over here. So that I think yeah. I don't know what I was gonna say. I was about to say that and I, so it turned into thy, but like, yeah. I think I'm gonna go continue building, so this is gonna be a slightly bigger mushroom than these two. And then we'll continue building a similar drippy mushroom over here, and then a blue towery one over there. So let's build all three of those, and I'll be back when I've done that. Okay, so we have this, the double mushroom done. It's not as big as the double mushroom on that side, but it's, you know, pretty good size for a double mushroom. Then we go over here and we have these towery, long, pointy mushrooms. And then we have another drippy mushroom over here. I'm thinking of another wizardy mushroom maybe over here by the water. So now, I still have a bit of time left. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create the path going through all of this around the mushrooms like trying to figure out how people were gonna move were or slash are going to move around this space so yeah i'm going to fix it and figure out what to do about all of this so i'll make the paths i'll be right back and let's see if i have some extra small mushrooms kind of just littered around the path so yeah i'll be back so we're here at the purple slash red base. So I've done the paths. I haven't done the decorations yet. I don't know if I'm going to do the decorations today within this video or I'm going to do it in between sessions or I'm going to do it some other time. But basically what I did was just use the paths to kind of uh, make a path, of course, to how people would act. So I have one main one, which would probably because people would be running here and like hiding behind these because these are more safe options. And then I have another one running from this to this mushroom over here so you can kind of avoid this way because that one's blocking the view so you can take like the side route to the opponent's base. So you go over here and then you can like hide here and then from here you can actually the one that I forgot to do, I'll do it right now, is just up here this way. Which is basically, you know, like run over here and then you have the option to go to that or this. And if you go like over here, you have the option to like, you know, run here. Because I'm thinking of another one where you just like run straight towards this place like this. So it like kind of reconnects in the path that way. So you can actually see like the ways that people can go around stuff. So 
from here you can go to a joint path over there or you can have a path to the mushroom like straight ahead like this let me just kind of make like a little patch here there i need to make it a little bit more organic because I, I literally just like marked out a straight path so I need to like you know mess it up a little bit so from here you can go this way you can go straight here hide behind this block for a little bit you know shoot at them and then from here it all connects so let's take it from the other side so from here the obvious choice would be going to this one so that's why I kind of made the path wider a little bit here or you could like take the less you know done path which is this all the way across to this one and then you can like hide over here or you could take the you know the normal path or the more usual path of hide there go over here and then like go this way or go this way so i'm gonna make that path now okay so or we go this way connect it there Oof, i need to fix that Get the grass block, put it back. Okay, but yeah, you can also take it from here. You go this way, you can go to the big mushroom, or you could go kind of risking it and go over straight there. Or you could like have another one here, like a little offshoot path going this way and like hiding in here. And then what I'm going to do is since I already made these, you know, big kind of moves that people are going to do what the main moves are going to do between the bigger ones i'm going to use the extra space here to put in like decoration so like small mushrooms that are going to litter this and then you know just ideas on like where to place things what to build and then i'm planning to keep this kind of open so i can have the bridge going from there to over here I still don't know if I'm gonna do that, but let me work out a few positionings with the schematics mod and let's see if we can go back. So I've been working on a few things. Hello, guy, bye bye, guy, where are you going? Where are your llamas? But anyway, I've built this and another thing, another, you know, one of these over there, just not the same design, but this is like a medium ish, medium to small type of thing because it's you know that's what i con that's what i consider medium that's what i consider large so this is like a mid range kind of mushroom here it's like not big enough to like hide fully behind but it's, in but it's you know enough and then if we go over here we have lag we have lag but over here we have a brown variation so i thought it'd be fun to have like the opposite variation near each other's bases so you have like the red mushroom over there by the brown slash orange mushroom and we have a brown mushroom here next to the red slash purple mushroom so that's this is what it looks like these designs are not mine i will link all the designs in the description because yeah these are from random youtube videos i found designing mushrooms and i just you know place them around this area as decoration and then the thing I'm trying to do in between sessions or in between episodes, if I can, is make the bridge and decorate this a little bit more. So that would be it for this episode of Study Mode. We've worked on this mushroom island for the time that I have and it's been pretty fun, but it has been a bit challenging knowing where to place everything, but that will be it. And I'll see you next episode. Let's see what I'm going to work on next. Bye!